Hey everybody, I'm Dr. Weitz Coleman. We're going to go over a few things that I think are underemphasized points. I think it'll help you be more successful with your cataract surgery technique if you get a good setup to begin with. Once the drape is in place, we want the sticky area covering an inch or two towards the ear. We want to use blunt tip scissors. I start in the middle, move nasal, and then come back the other half. Be careful at the lateral canthus, not to cut the patient slightly. Insert the speculum, inferior first, then superior, holding the lashes out of the way. When we're operating, we want as much stability as we can get. More stability comes through more surface area making contact. It's tempting to stabilize with one finger on the head. I like to stabilize with several fingers on the head in a supinated position. I hold the instruments between my fingertips. That way I can get more physical contact with my hands when I'm operating. We can think about the angle that our arms are coming in at. They're about 90 degrees apart. Your main incision and your paracentesis should be about 90 degrees apart and that keeps your hands in a comfortable position. If your baseline position is resting in a supinated position with this surface of your fingers on the head and cheek, that's going to keep you more comfortable. It's going to give you more stamina to operate, do a lot of cases, and be very efficient. We're going to demo how to pass sharp safely. I put my microscope pedal between the V. Now I've got good spacing. I feel like I'm in a good position. So let's pass a couple of sharps. You only have two chances to stab each other in cataract surgery, typically. It's when you pass the 15 degree for a paracentesis and when you pass the keratome. I grasp. I allow her to release. Once she's clear, then I move. So that avoids pulling sharp through someone else's hands. When I'm done, I'm going to hand it back. She's going to grasp. She's going to allow me to release before she moves it. Let's do it one more time for clarity. Perfect. I'm going to allow her to release, hand it back, make sure she's got a good grasp. I don't want it quite lined up with my leg. I don't want the super sharp to fall and stab me in the leg. Let's do it with the keratome. She passes to me, she releases, and then I take it. When I'm done, I'm handing it back, I release, and then she takes it away. How about a pro this pass? That way when you get something with a needle on the end, like for a pterygium, you're used to doing it this way. We'll use it and then we'll hand it back with the pointy end facing away from her. We want to make a quick point about making sure your cannulas are secure, especially when you're hydrating. I've seen a loose cannula go through the other side of the limbus. I've seen it puncture the capsule bag right at the end of the case. Take a quick second with your non-dominant hand to make sure that it's secure. If they're just loose enough where they can come off with a lot of force, they really can be dangerous. So make sure your cannula tips are screwed on tight before you use them.